May the fourth be with you. Whoa, Star Wars. Uh, uh, uh. Welcome to Matt Three Honors with Lightsaber. New bulb. Or, in other words, it could be known as um, Master New Bulb. Darth New Bulb. Darth New Bulb. With his Padawan, Isaac! Yeah, let's go. May the Force. May the Force be with you. Which is awesome. Okay, let's see here. Thanks again for being here, you guys. Just doing a little bit of Star Wars action there. Because tomorrow's May the Fourth be with you. Which is awesome. So then, let's see if this works. Yeah. So today, we're going to be, uh, this week, we're doing week six. Um, if you're a senior, which I don't have too many, which is good, and... Uh, in Math 3 Honors, you'd have to really get your go in there and be actually on Unit 7, which is this week. But if you're a junior, it's okay if you're still in Week 6, if you're a little bit behind, because we still have that last week of school. But if you're a senior, make sure you're cranking it out, you're in Week 7, next week, Week 8, get ready to take your final the week after that. Because uh, for seniors this year, you do have to all be done by May 13th, I guess, for your final exam. Is uh, when you want to hurry and get everything done by, and then take your final. So that you can walk. But uh, since this year we have lots of juniors, you guys are fine. Don't even worry about it. So last week you're focused on week uh, five. And this week is week six, which is uh, graphing exponential equations, graphing logs, and then doing a practice test and a test. Testing on logarithms and exponential equations is what we're going to try to get you ready for this week. Whoa! We got our log on fire. Logarithms are on fire. Here we go, logs and exponents, exponents test. Why do lumberjacks make good musicians? Because of their natural logarithms. Uh, <laughs> burn it, burn, burn, burn. I did uh, put all the flames in there myself. <laughs> there we go, which is awesome. So if you're taking this online, again, you can go ahead and uh, try your best with or without a note card. And then you can have another attempt there, so just try your best on this test and uh, get ready. Um, so before that, of course, we're going to be uh, finishing up logarithms. And so finishing up logarithms uh, specifically, there we go, uh, graphing. So this week is graphing exponentials. So basically it goes up and to the right, and that is uh, exponential growth which my friend uh, Isaac here is going to be excited about because I have oh, a Magic yeah. Gathering card on my what? canvas, <laughs> which is Exponential Growth, which is a Magic the Gathering card. card. Didn't you kill someone with that card? Right? I did. I doubled my creature's power, my commander's, and I doubled it about five or six times. That's insane. And so he became like 350 power and won and did a lot of damage to their 40 life, <laughs> which was awesome. So we have exponential growth, decay, or negative growth, right? Or negative growth. And uh, just to give you an insight, since you're watching this video with me, because you missed our Google Meet today. Um, so basically, exponential growth is going to be going up and to the right, like that. Cool. Now, if you have a negative there, you're still going to grow, but it's going to be uh, it's going to be called negative growth, basically. So you're going to be going downward. And so negative growth could be like credit card debt, right? It's getting really big and negative. But it's credit card debt. Ugh. So if you uh, rent from Redbox for one dollar and then you don't pay it off every night for like twenty nights, then you own the film for twenty dollars. And if you use your credit card and still don't pay it off, then you're gonna be by the end of the year owing like five hundred bucks for that one video. It's crazy how exponential growth works with with credit card debt. Ugh. So watch out. And if you haven't already taken my, that's an introduction to my financial literacy class. Woo! Take that online with me too. Um, number five, because we have a fraction, it's not going to grow very fast at all. In fact, I think as we carry on, it's actually going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And so that'll be called decay. And so those are the three graphs that we're dealing with for this assignment. We have decay, we have uh, growth. And we have negative growth, which is awesome. Negative growth. Negative growth. Nice. Cool. So there's that assignment. Beautiful. Um, after that, we'll be uh, graphing logarithms and a little bit of word problems. They wanted us to throw that on there too, as well as on the test. 
So a little bit of word problems going on there, but I do have videos, of course, to help you, which is awesome. And you can use your graphing software to graph these logarithms if you want to, probably a good idea. And then we have word problems there too. Cool. So um, I need you to message me or email me, you behind the screen. Yeah, you behind the screen. Make sure that you email or message me um, if you like Star Wars or not, and who your favorite Star Wars character is. Yeah. Because this week is May the 4th be with you. Cool. Also, email me if you have any questions on any homework assignments. I'll email you back. Make sure you watch my videos first. And... Dun, 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 dun. I am your father. No! Yeah, make sure you watch Star Wars. Coming up this year, 2022, on I believe it's May 27th, is when Obi-Wan Kenobi on Disney Plus comes out, which is awesome. So make sure you email me your favorite Star Wars character, make one up. Oh, I remember Chewbacca. Okay, do it, write it down, email it to me, and I'll give you participation points for watching today. Cool, thanks for watching. Um, also, um, probably push you to next week too. And so uh, next week would be uh, week seven for Math 3 Honors. There's going to be a little bit of statistics thrown in there. Just for Math 3 Honors, we're going to squeeze in statistics here at the end because that's part of our honors going on. So statistical inference and experiments, observational studies, simulation statistics. So try to get to that this week too because that is due in three days if possible. If you can bust it out, that would be amazing. Learning about statistics. And so statistical inference, there we go. There's a link to the video to help you basically. And I'll try to get some videos in there too, which would be amazing to help us match the words with the correct definitions. So you can use uh, Google to help you with these. So population is the entire group of individuals for which information is desired. And then your sample is a part of the population for which information is collected. There we go. Convenience is the one that's easiest to reach. Not very good because it gives you lots of bias though. Um, cool, so there's some different ones to help you there. And uh, you can try and try again until you get them all correct. Same with these guys as well. So here's an assignment to help you and I'll see if I can make a video to help you more. But there's a link to the video too that you can click on. That'll also help you as well, which is pretty awesome. And we'll get my video in there too, which will be awesome too. Cool. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Woo! Yeah, may the fourth be with you and also with you. Thanks for watching.